I wanted to update you on my latest smoothie recipe. I know I posted a video a couple weeks ago with my green smoothie recipe, um, but since then I've sort of been experimenting and watching other people create theirs and I thought I'm probably putting in too much fruit. And I think the reason why I kind of had that thought was because I watched what other people did. I kind of watched the smoothie gurus, the people that I really look to for making delicious smoothies. And I then went to a website where I could put in all of the information for what I've added into my smoothie and then find the amount of calories that that was. And I usually divide that in half because I'll have one for breakfast and then one for like a midday type of thing. Um, and I just thought it was probably close to like 300 calories, a little bit less for half, I think, because I was adding so much fruit. And I'm not somebody who's trying to lose weight by any means. That's not my goal. I just really want to be getting my greens into my body. And a green smoothie is definitely a great way to go about doing that. So I ended up just kind of collecting a few new recipes from people that I really like to watch on YouTube and I decided I would share my most recent green smoothie with people. I add about three handfuls of kale, well maybe two handfuls of kale, and then definitely three handfuls of spinach and then if I had any chard I'd throw in a couple handfuls of that. So. The idea is I wanted to make my smoothie at least half green and then, or half leafy, and then fill the rest in with fruit. And I thought, what's something that I really like to have in my smoothies? I love bananas. So I added two ripe bananas, five frozen strawberries, two handfuls of blueberries, and then I cut up one green apple, and that was it for fruit. And then I also added about eight to 10 drops of liquid stevia which I know people have their own debates about that, but I trust that I really feel like liquid stevia is so much more natural compared to some other things that are out there. And then I added about this much water. So there's a lot of water in there and I really, really enjoy this movie. It's a lot lighter than the other one. I'm not having to, I don't feel like I mean, it fills me up just as much, but I feel as though I'm getting a lot more greens and a lot less sweet, fruity carbohydrates. So I just wanted to share that, and I hope you go ahead and try it. It's really delicious. You, I think my first thing was I was hesitant to taste spinach and chard and kale in a smoothie, and now I've realized you really can't taste them if you add a few other sweet things. So I would go ahead and give this one a shot. It's less calories. I haven't added up the calories. You guys can go ahead and do that. Um, but I really like it. So that's my little update. Have a good day and go catch a run.